The morel mushroom. Have you heard of it? Well, it's an elusive, tasty fungi that only grows in the wild. Our Nick Barris, who else, went on the hunt for the prized mushroom in the woods right here of Middle Tennessee. And this is where I found them all. Finding them is half of the fun. It is. It's it's it, it, yeah, it's half the fun. Really, what's not to like? A cool spring morning in rural Macon County. You look up and marvel at the beautiful trees and warm sun, but where you really want to be looking is down. Uh -huh, look right here. I never would have seen that. <laughs> I would have stepped on it. I just missed seeing what my guide Troy Driver refers to as dry land fish or the morel mushroom. See, I've done this ever since the sixth grade, and it's always been a passion of mine. Okay. I just love doing it, yeah. love eating them, love giving them to people. Morel mushroom season typically runs from late March to early May, and you need to know where to look. Hey, right in here is a good spot. See that and sticking up right yonder? All right. And there's one right yonder with that stick I got stuck up. Yeah, I see it. And then there's another one down below it. There's no mistaking the unique appearance of a morel, but they do blend in. Driver says the mushroom typically surfaces among the leaves on a southeast-facing hillside. Here's a beautiful one in the green. Around ash, sycamore, and poplar trees. This, this is a poplar tree. This is where you're going to find the most of the black dry land fish, around the mature big poplar trees. And, and another little trick that I've learned over the years yeah is you're better off going to the bottom of the hill, coming up and looking, because you can see them better. Look here, one, two, three, four, and five. See that and peeking over the log right there? About an hour in, and our team has collected dozens of morels, a great haul. That's a white one. Yeah, that's a big one. The morel is prized by high-end restaurants to saute and for sauces, but I'm told the morel is best rolled in flour and then lightly fried. The last of my morels. Ah, wait till next year, huh? These are going to be good. You'll find morels have a delicious, rich, nutty taste, and they are hard to find, but well worth the effort. And like was said at the start of this story, finding them is half the fun. Oh, 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 I, I, I found one. He found one. Yep. Look at this one here. How about that? The season is pretty much over for this year, but if you are so inclined, try morel hunting next spring. I've always been taught to take a pocket knife, Nick Barris, and leave the very bottom of it down there. News Channel 5.